What is up guys? This is iCraze iPhone back again with another review. I just want to say um I my giveaway is still going on for the spec see through. So go and check it out. Also need you to subscribe, follow me on Twitter to get entered into the giveaway. So my Twitter account will be posted down there in the description, but I'll say it right now. It's twitter.com slash iCraze iPhone 3. And just follow me on there, post a comment on the video, subscribe, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Uh, the video should be in my channel. Um, today I'll be going over a car charger, which is the Power Volt, um, the Power Jolt Reserve, actually. It's a little tiny car charger. It comes with the USB port for charging your stuff. And... The cool thing about this is that it has a external battery. Yeah, I've been actually needing some of these because I'm always on the road. So, I mean, it is a small tiny battery when you put it in the car. And this is still just plugged in like that. It will charge until it's fully charged. And you do have that. So if you don't have enough time for the USB port, like if you're in your car, you get to work. And you're at work and you're like, I forgot to charge my iPhone and you didn't charge it all the way. You can always just take this off. And just plug it in. So, also another cool thing is that um, I love the lights. There are th five lights down here. And when you put it on charge, let's say you put it right now. goes to charge automatically. And it's charging even though I have 95%. What you do is you hit the button and it shows how many lights are on. That tells you how much juice is in the pack. So right now there is four, but there were supposed to be five, so it's not fully charged yet. Yeah, I know. Also, I want to go back over, uh, also, uh, one more thing. You can buy this for about $39.99 at the Griffin website, and you can get the Power Duo Reserve, which is the home charger and the car charger with this battery. So I just thought that was pretty cool. I mean, these things... Give me about 15% more battery. So it's worth it. I mean, I don't really like all the Morphe's, the in-case power sliders. If you want, you can get those little batteries inside the case. But I think they're too big and too bulky for me. So also now, I shall be going more in-depth about the in-case slider. I've actually dropped this already by accident because I was walking with something in my right hand and my phone was in my left hand. And thing on my right hand was falling so I had to hold the phone with my shoulder and when it was falling the phone slipped out of my uh, ear and just went bam yeah not so pretty but the slider is perfectly fine there is a small indention down here you wouldn't be able to see it I actually tried before I made this video to show you but it wouldn't go through um, the phone is completely fine no cracks a little bit of smudges because of my screen protector. And the back, totally fine. No scratches. Even though keeping this case on for about a week, there are no scratches on the back of my iPhone. And nothing on my bezel of my iPhone. Usually these in-case sliders leave marks on the bezel. No, they do not now. So, I mean, that's good. So, I really still do. This is actually my favorite case that... I have for my iPhone at the moment. I will be going over some other things. And I will have another giveaway coming up soon. And check out the giveaway for my spec case. It's still going on. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. All the information will be down there in the description box. I will post more videos up for other cases that I have. And I actually just talked to one of the Griffin... The Griffin... Uh, one of the customer support people, they are sending me a case. I don't know which one. So we're going to have to wait and see on that. So subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Later, guys.